You hear about uh, the shortage of machinists. Well, if you never have to set something up again, you need fewer guys setting up and therefore it, it eases your burden on the personnel side. I'm Ryan Schultes. I'm president of Schultes Precision Manufacturing. Uh, we're a third generation family owned manufacturing company in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. We have about 146 employees. Uh, we serve about 80 different customers annually. We were founded in 1946. My grandfather worked for Bell & Howell in their camera department. They would try to come out with a new camera and he would constantly have ideas on how to make it work a little bit better, make it easier to manufacture, all these type of things. So he had the idea that he could start this as a business. And we would get customers in the front door and make prototypes and they'd say, great, these work fantastic, you know, we, we'd like a thousand of them now. And we'd have to say, well, we can't make a thousand of them, we can make two. And so my father started investing in the, in the CNC equipment and my grandfather wanted no part of it. Um, Dad actually bought our first CNC and he had to wait till my grandfather was on vacation. And he knew it had to be up and running before grandpa came back. Otherwise it would get returned and sent back. So being a job shop, you end up with a giant variety of equipment. And one of the issues is not all the equipment accept, accepts the same tools, the same fixturing, all this type of a thing. So a big push both on the turning side and, and on the milling side, specifically with the Makino cell, was to be able to maintain a frozen process. We don't have to move jobs around to different pieces of equipment when the customer demand spikes. We can just call it up and run the parts. Makino has a very good reputation. This is our first Makino that we've ever purchased. Okay. We had established relationships with different distributors for many years. And as a result, we tended to purchase whatever they had available. And we would say, that sounds pretty good. I guess we can make it work. The concept we had already proven out with another manufacturer. We had a single machine with 40 pallets on it. The problem is when the machine would go down, we don't have 40 alternate machines to put all that work into. So we started looking for someone that would offer a turnkey setup that was engineered by a manufacturer, not somebody's pallet system with somebody else's machines. So we wanted something that was integrated, a factory solution. We started looking into Makino because some of the younger engineers had come from places that had Makinos. And um, the more we talked with them, the more impressed I was. I, I, I would say it's the equivalent of the equipment we were buying were nice Chevrolets. They'll get you to work, but you kind of go to the Chevy dealer and you get what you get. If, if we were buying Chevys before, this must be what it feels like to buy a Bentley or a Ferrari. I was stunned when we sent our people for training, the amount that, to the extent that Makino tailored the way they configured the machines to what it is we do here and what we wanted to do. I wanted to eliminate any chance of an operator, what we call fat fingering a number, okay? And that's going to put a offset, a tool offset into the machine tool and accidentally put the wrong decimal place or the wrong number, which in turn could cause a interference or a crash inside the machine tool. Schultes went to Makino and Makino stated, we have an option of a CNC presetter brought to you by a company called Zoller. So Makino, Zoller, and Schultes work together and we have a CNC presetter that it completely eliminates any chance of an operator making an error loading a tool into a machine tool. On our existing seven horizontals that we're replacing with the Makino, we average about 40% uptime only due to all the setups that we're doing because our average length of run is only five days. We fully expect the Makino to bring us up to over 80% uptime. So right now we have seven horizontals, 14 people day and night to staff the seven to get 40% uptime. And we expect to cut that to two people during the day with 80% uptime. In order to hit a profitability goal, you have to have uptime. If you're not making chips, you're not making money. Our number one source of downtime was setup, period. Our biggest expense is labor, period. We, we can't continue to grow and take on new work if we're busy setting up the same things over and over. One of the things that, that has been, I, I knew it would be good, but I, I, I didn't anticipate the response we would get from our customers, is once that machine was up and running and we called people in for tours and to show them the addition and also show them the new, the new Makino cell, the degree of confidence that 
you know, it's easy to do business with somebody when you trust them, okay? And when you see an investment like that and you hear about what we can do for them and why we did this, all of a sudden we're getting opportunities as, as a move to, right? You know, even if their mandate is we have to go to low cost countries, but we're included on the bid, where maybe in the past we wouldn't have been included on the bid. sales side, it's one of the best sales tools that we have is we bring customers in and they see this and they go, wow, this is really something. You know, they understand the benefit. 